Heritage Restaurant and Caviar Bar is a modern European and Korean restaurant emphasizing all of our heritages. Chicago is a city of immigrants, so it's about our ancestors and what they brought to the table. These dishes are representative of our heritage and also the mark that we want to put on modern cooking. Lamb is one of our most favorite ingredients at the restaurant because it kind of bridges all of our cultures and there's so many things we can do with it. We love using pasture-raised lamb from Australia because it's absolutely perfectly balanced between meat and fat and it's deeply marbled but not overly fatty and it's perfect for all of our uses. This is our lamb tataki, which we roll with sesame leaves, radishes, and homegrown chives. Topping it with sterling supreme white sturgeon caviar, beechel, and radishes. To show our Korean heritage, we use the lamb eye of loin in a yuko tartar with quail egg, sesame leaves, and kimchi. For us, it's all about using the entire animal. So we use all the rendered fat to saute with. We use all of the muscles for our, all of our charcuterie needs, braises, stews, stocks, dumplings, roasts, and sauces. This dish draws on our Indian and Korean heritages, highlighting a boat noodle with lamb belly, ground lamb, and braised lamb with asparagus, handmade noodles, peanuts, lime, cilantro, and scallion. We highlight sous vide lamb shoulder in a fun and funky lettuce wrap with Coca-Cola barbecue sauce, ghost chili hot sauce gel, and a fresh cucumber salad. This is a lamb and green mango salad with grilled broccoli and romanesco and a fish sauce and lime vinaigrette highlighting our house-made kimchi that's deep, dark, and funky that pairs incredibly well with the rich flavor of the lamb. This is cast iron seared double lamb chop with carrot and curry couscous, green olive salsa verde, and wood grilled carrots. Inspiration behind this dish is our Indian heritage, so there's a lot of curry. This dish is pan seared single lamb chops with a dark, smoky, black garlic, maple, and sriracha glaze. We finish it with a little bit of pansy pesto and cumin seed sprinkle. This is indicative of our Korean and our Indian heritages. We pan sear these lamb and shiitake dumplings with a little bit of sesame oil and then we fold in a rice starch batter that reduces and dehydrates and forms a crispy rice skirt. And then we garnish it with scallion aioli, cumin seed sprinkle, and fresh herbs. This is our lamb and shiitake mandu highlighting sous vide lamb shoulder. This is a lamb goulash highlighting sous vide lamb shoulder in a deep rich stew made with lamb bacon, lamb fat, confit peas, my grandmother's herb dumpling recipe, and homemade creme fraiche. Indicative of Czech culture, this stew features smoked sweet paprika, red bell pepper puree, and fire roasted tomatoes. This is our lamb kebabi served with pomegranates, naan, pickled mustard seeds, homemade creme fraiche and an heirloom tomato salad, highlighting our Northern Indian heritage. Grass-fed lamb is incredibly versatile and has many applications, a lot of times in the same dish that allow us to have a deep layer of flavor.